Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn about properties of whole numbers. Studying the properties of whole numbers help us to understand the numbers in better way. Now, let us learn some properties. The first one is closer property. Take any two whole numbers and add them. Is the result is a whole number? Definitely. If we add any two whole numbers, we get another whole number only. This is the first pro property of whole numbers. That means the sum of any two whole numbers is always a whole number. For example, 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. Here, 2 and 3 are whole numbers and the sum of 2 and 3 is 5. That also a whole number. In the same way, we can say that product of any two whole numbers is always a whole number. Example, 2 into 3 is equal to 6. Here, 2, 3, 6 are whole numbers. Like this, any two whole numbers we are multiplying means we will get another whole number. But in the case of subtraction and division is not possible. Because if we subtract small one to big one, we will get the answer in integer. For example, 1 minus 5 is equal to minus 4. Here, minus 4 is the integer, not a whole number. Also, in case of division, we may get fractional numbers in some cases. So, we can say that whole numbers are closed under addition and multiplication, not in subtraction and division. Let's see. Next property, commutative property. Let us see one example in addition. 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 and 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. In both the cases, we get 5. Now, let's see one example in multiplication. 3 into 2 is equal to 6. 2 into 3 is also 6. From this, we can say that the sum or product is same though the order of number is changed. That is the commutative property. That means sum is same though the order of addition of pair of whole numbers changed. But in subtraction and division, it is not possible. Because we won't get the same. For example, 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. But 3 minus 5 is equal to minus 2. Here we change the order means we are getting the negative number. So we can say that whole numbers are commutative under addition and subtraction. Next one is Associative property. Let's observe the given addition. 2 plus 3 plus 4 is equal to 2 plus 3 plus 4. In both the cases, we are getting the answer as 9. In this addition, if we add first 2 and 3, then add the 4 to the sum is equal to the 2 added with the sum of 3 and 4. In both the way, we are getting the same. This is called associative property of addition. This also possible over addition and multiplication only. Next one is distributive property. A number grid or else a number can be divided into two parts. Here, 5 into 4. Here the first number is 5. 
this number we can divide it into 2 that means 5 we can write as 3 plus 2 so we can write 5 into 4 as 3 into 4 plus 2 into 4 then we can multiply 3 into 4 is equal to 12 and 2 into 4 is equal to 8 total we are getting 20 is equal to 5 fours are 20 from this we can say that a into b plus c is equal to a into b plus a into c this is called distributive property of whole numbers now let's see additive identity when you add 4 and 5, you get a new whole number 9. Addition of 2 whole numbers gives a new whole number. But here you see the table. In this table, we are adding 2 whole numbers. But we are not getting a new whole numbers. That means 2 plus 0 is equal to 9 plus 0 is equal to 9. From this we can say that when we add 0 to a whole number, we get the same whole number again. So we can say that 0 is called the addictive identity for whole numbers. Next topic is multiplicative identity. Let's see the table. 1 into 9 is equal to 9. 5 into 1 is equal to 5. We see that when one of the two numbers multiplied by 1, the result of multiplication is equal to the other number. So we can say that 1 is the multiplicative identity of whole numbers. I hope you all understood properties of whole numbers. Thank you.